Hey guys, just Jenny. Today I want to show you how I made this bracelet out of a little spread knife. Um, this is a small bracelet. I made it for one of my daughters who likes baking. Let me show you real quick. It fits me as well. And my wrist is about six inches. So this particular one is small. Um, you need two small jump rings. Those are three millimeter inside diameter. This one's a four millimeter and about two and three eighths inch of chain. Uh, I just used a little clasp on here. I will say I did struggle with this clasp it, it is hard to put on and take off by yourself. So if you make this uh, and you use a different class, uh, put it in the comments and, and a picture. Let me know what you used. Um, so to get started, I marked my knife, I'll show you here, at um, about five eighths of an inch. And if you haven't hammered any of your flatware before, the reason we're gonna mark it and not hammer is because I wanted the contrast between smooth and hammered. And if you hammer these, this gets all mottled. So to keep from ruining that, we just don't hammer it. So uh, first thing we need to do is mark your spreader at five eighths. Uh, let's see, five eighths. It's about there. And I don't think it really matters which way it's pointing unless you specifically want, you know, it, it to be worn on your left wrist with the chain there or you know because otherwise it might look upside down if you put it this way um so i happen to have made this for my daughter to wear on her left hand so that's um that's the way this one's gonna go same way so first thing we need to do is use your ball peen hammer and hammer from the end here to your line. That's it, just, just hammer out that section and then I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, so we have it hammered out and flattened if it curled up on you. Next, we're not gonna do this yet. We need to bend this here and then we'll do this last, because if we do it now, then it's gonna get smashed. Um, if you're using the bender press, I have on the smallest nylon roller, and it's it's actually on the, sorry, mine's all messed up. Um, it's on the very biggest peg, because it gives me more reach. I'm using the, rubber hockey puck um, it gives me more room to get this over to the center of the the rubber puck um, so we're gonna do the bend on the back side oh before I start um, I did mark mine in the middle when I did this one because we want the bend to be in the center from here to here, not the tip. Because if we do it from the tip, it's not gonna land in the right spot. So what I did was I measured from that mark from hammering to the end and divided that in half so I'd know where the center was. 
So on mine, uh, from that line was about five and seven eighths. And half of that is about um, two and seven eighths is pretty close. Uh, so I'm just gonna make a mark there with my Sharpie so that I know where my center is going to be. So let me mark that real quick. So got my little mark and that's where the center of that bend is going to be, is on that mark. Um, another thing, if you're just, if you're new to your bender press, I'm not using this block because it's going to make it round and this isn't round. It, it doesn't fit in here really. So, I mean, yes, right there, that one spot, but this part, we don't want this round. You could use the bender to bend it in half. Actually, why, why don't we do it that way? Because that'll probably make it easier. Because this does fit here so we can make that much of a bend but we don't want to bring it all the way over uh, let me look at this channel too because that was the big one that's the small one and this is a very small bracelet no it's that will that will fold it more so i'm going to use the bigger channel the smallest nylon uh, bracelet form. And let's bend this in half that way. You gotta keep an eye on it. Mine's wanting to kind of come off to one side. So try to get it to land in the middle now. I'm just not getting mine to land in the middle. No, mine didn't land quite in the middle. That's that's my mark and my bend is more over here. So I'm gonna try to adjust it a little. Okay, I'm going to move to my hockey puck. So you can see that I'm just slowly working, just little steps to make that curve. We do want to stop here. We don't want to go past that. So our curve is going to stop about where that line is. Okay, I just want to show you in comparison to the finished one where we're at, starting to take the shape. So I'm just going to keep working it, bring this up a little. The top one is pretty good, maybe not so even, but I'm just going to keep working it and bring those to that, that shape. And then I'll show you what to do next. I've still been just working this slowly back and forth, trying to get the, the bends to come together. I wanted to show you, don't worry about that this is so close because remember, we're gonna curl this up. It's gonna be out of the way, but I feel it's too flat right here. I don't know if you can see that. Get the other one. You see how it's got a nice curve that's even. And that's what I'm working towards. And you just have to keep working at it. But I wanted to show you, I did switch back to my bracelet block and I'm gonna use it to help. I'm not gonna push down all the way into here, into the channel because I don't want it round, but I can't get it 
that little straight spot out using the hockey puck. I know it's not a hockey puck, but it looks like a hockey puck. Uh, so I just want to show you guys that, uh, you know, go back and forth. Use whatever you need to use to, to achieve the look you want. I didn't want you to think that you know, wow, I just finished mine and it came out nice. No, I work at it. Um, I'm still going to keep working on this spot that's a little too straight. And, of course, I have my original to compare to. But you can see, if I keep working, that it's, it's coming together. It's starting to be the same size. Now, I can't try it on to show you, but, you know, it's going to slide on and fit your wrist. So keep working at it until it's the shape you want and then we'll go over and we'll drill the hole and roll up, um, sorry, drill the hole on this end and roll up the tip on that. And actually, before I forget to say, you do not have to drill the hole and put the chain I just put it there more like a, a safety chain because I had made this for my daughter and her wrists are really small. So potentially if it was wet, it, it could fall off her wrist. But when I put this on without the chain on it, it stays on my wrist just fine. So you need to decide before you drill the hole if you want that little safety chain or not. So I'm going to keep working this out and then I will show you how I drilled it and rolled up the tip. Okay, so we have our bracelet shaped and the hole drilled. I did want to say when I drill, I use this cutting oil. I just put a drop on the drill bit itself and it helps out a lot. I'll put a link to it. You can use any cutting oil, but I'll put a link to this one. So now that the hole is drilled, if you were going to do that, I just use some bale making pliers and use the, the bigger side and just kind of roll it back leaving that line. Don't want to curl it super tight. Um, put my example one here. I mean, it's small. It's not, see how it's not as small as these pliers. It's, oops, maybe I should go that way. Um, so we don't want it like super tight, but I'm just going to bend it. Like use this and do small bends around to get that shape. Just remember also we wanted the end of the bracelet to be um, kind of in line here. So I want to make sure I do bend it back back here far enough pretty good. It's not quite as round as I did on that one. Um, I might tweak that a little bit. Anyway, uh, to finish it up, I used my larger jump ring. That was the four millimeter was the inside diameter on that one. I put that on there and I used the, the little three millimeter with a clasp and I just had a little link uh, 
of chain here that I put another three millimeter just so I could hook it onto it. And again, if you guys come up with a different clasp or anything, put it in the comments. I'd like to see what you came up with. Uh, thanks for making this bracelet with me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one.